I'm Lance, inventory software expert since 2006. This is Thane, our inflow expert. Welcome, Thane. Hey, thanks for having me, Lance. Yeah, thanks for joining our channel. We've been looking forward to having inflow added to our demo playlist of inventory management software for QuickBooks users. <laughs> We primarily focus on wholesale distribution, manufacturing, and e-commerce. So Inflow has been around since 2007. They started out with a desktop app like most did. They're fully in the cloud now. They've got thousands of customers. If you've never heard of Inflow, don't think they're not as big as they are. What we're going to do in this demo video is Thane is going to whet our appetite with the features of inflow. And if you'd like to see more, we also have a deep dive demo that is longer. I don't know. How long do you think it was, Thane? Probably about 50 minutes if I had to guess, but uh, yeah, that's probably I, I, I lose track of time when I'm talking about inventory. So you either have got to be really bored or really interested to watch to watch the deep dive. But hopefully this, de this demo will uh, whet your appetite. So Thane's going to show us the sales order screen, work order, purchase order, and you know all the screens. So let's let's take a look, Thane. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> what would you like to see first? Uh, sales order. Let's let's look at the sales order screen. Let's create some demand. Yeah, sounds great. So a lot of the time with sales orders, uh, they're going to be created automatically if you have a Shopify or WooCommerce connection uh, going. Uh, but if you wanted to create them uh, manually yourself, either from the desktop or from the mobile app, uh, it's just as easy as clicking on sales, choosing new sales order, choosing the customer who you're selling to, and there we are. Yeah, I like the design. You've got the list of sales orders on the left. Um, you selected a customer and brought us here. And then we add products in the middle and scroll down thing a little yeah, bit. Absolutely. I think there's some noteworthy places down here. Charge for freight. We can receive payment. Uh, what else am I missing? Uh, uh, yeah, we've got the non-customer costs and, and, and uh, due dates and uh, requested shipping dates. And you can even create your own custom fields as well. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned custom fields. That's That's a big deal. And then uh, why don't you throw a product on here and show us what the print preview looks like so we, yeah, absolutely. So the viewers can see what the customer is going to get as far as an order confirmation after so, so let's send the sales ten, order is created. Sell 10 of these right now. And when we go up to the print, we're going to choose that sales order and we're going to get a PDF copy, which is going to include the customer's name, their billing address, our logo, and... Uh, and address, as well as the products, the quantity, and the price. Beautiful. So a sales order is a promise to deliver, okay? For those of you that are just growing and you've been using QuickBooks for a while and you're not used to a sales order, it's important to point out what that is. An invoice is a demand for payment. A receipt is a recognition that you've received payment. And a sales order is a confirmation and an agreement to uh, to ship them something. So um, I saw that you had all of those and it's good to point out also that uh, Inflow integrates with all your major e-commerce marketplaces, even EDI, they have a B2B portal. So there's a lot of ways that the sales orders can get into the system, not just manual entry. It's, it's pretty robust. Thank you. Um, all right, let's take a look at the work orders. So- yeah. Inflow uh, is manufacturing software. It has manufacturer orders and, and work orders and um, multi-level bills of material. Yeah. So, the I mean, the simple way of creating manufacturer orders by clicking on the manufacturer order button, but you can also have Inflow tell you which orders you need to create uh, by clicking on the reorder stock, choosing the location, and then here's going to be the list of all of my manufacturer orders that I'm currently running low on, on products for. So pause here for a second. I think this is one of the most powerful features of inventory management software that so many small businesses overlook. It's really unfortunate how many small businesses overlook automation. 
They purchase inventory management software for the purpose of automation and then miss the biggest, most powerful automation tool in the software. And that is algorithms that calculate and come up with recommendations on what you should manufacture and what you should purchase based on your forecasted quantity on hand, based on what you have on hand, based on what you're going to be short on. So I'm going to get on my soapbox for a minute and say, don't miss that, you know? If, if you purchase uh, inflow, be sure to take the time to set up your reorder points, uh, your reward for keeping inventory accurate and having um, good workflow processes and procedures in place, accurate receiving, accurate picking is powerful automation when it comes to purchasing decisions and manufacturing decisions. So. Exactly. We, we try to be a, a perpetual inventory system. So we're not just tracking what you have, but we're also looking at what you need, what's coming in, what's going out, uh, and really try to help you plan that entire uh, process. All right. Then back to you. Show us the work order screen. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm just going to choose this, this bearing assembly, and I can see how many I have and how many I'm going to create, and I'm going to hit reorder now. And then... When we open it up, here's our manufacturer order, uh, which is going to show me what we're making, uh, as well as the uh, components that are going into making it. Now, obviously, you can manually create a manufacturer order the boring way, but we wanted to show you the cool way, <laughs> automated way, right? But uh, in the deep dive demo, uh, we showed multi-level manufacturer orders. One question I had for you, Thane, is do you have any sort of features that focus on outsourcing manufacturing at all? Yeah, so we, we do as well. Um, with uh, Inflow, uh, we're tracking both your um, your materials and your, your bill of materials, what products are going in, but we're also tracking your operation costs. Um, and with your operation costs, there are two ways of doing that. Uh, we can track your per hourly costs, which is usually used if you're doing it in-house because you're paying your uh, the guy on, on your shop floor $40 an hour uh, mm -hmm. to, to manufacture these for you. Uh, but you can also do it as a per unit cost. So if you're outsourcing a part of your manufacturing process, whether that's painting or assembling or, uh, or anything else like that, uh, and they're charging you on a per piece basis, you can add that costing in as well and add that as an operational step on a per unit basis rather than per hour. Awesome. Show us purchasing. Yeah, and so it works exactly the same um, in that you could go in and uh, hit reorder stock and Inflow is going to show you the different uh, products that you need to order and the different vendors who you're ordering them from. Uh, we can also, though, go in and create a new purchase order, choose the vendor who we want to buy from, and then start clicking add product to add those products in if you wanted to do that in a more manual way. Absolutely. I like the screen that shows us all the purchase orders that need to be fulfilled, what status they're in. I think that's a really good screen to show us too. Why don't you show us that screen? Thanks. Yeah, I really do. Uh, I really love to show that one. Yeah. Um, so it's a nice little visual representation. And at the top, you can choose to see all of them, just the unpaid ones or, or just your open ones as you need. Um, but you're always going to have these nice little visuals on the fulfillment side. Uh, started, fulfilled, or unfulfilled uh, with an empty circle, a half-filled circle, or a, a filled circle. And likewise on the payment side uh, for something that has been unpaid, partially paid, if you're doing a deposit, as an example, uh, or fully paid. Inflow um, also handles prepayments to vendors. So that's it's really nice. It tracks uh, the payment to the vendor, not just whether you received it, but also whether you paid it. So, so that's good. And, and I think right now is a good time to mention, we're not going to show this, but I want to mention that Inflow has a mobile WMS with receiving. And I think that's a really important feature for an IMS to have because that's where inventory accuracy begins. If you don't receive accurately with the correct with the correct uh, quantity and the correct location, then it's all going to snowball from there. With Inflow, you can uh, record what was actually received to the correct uh, location. You can even receive serial numbers, either in the browser or with a mobile device that can scan barcodes if there's a barcode to scan. 
Uh, so let's uh, let's go to fulfilling the sales order. Let's... Yeah, for sure. So I'm going to go to my sales order list here, uh, and I can see right now, uh, just with a quick glance, which uh, orders I have that I can fulfill right now, and which orders I'm waiting for stock on, or just don't have enough stock right now. Um, when I want to, when I have that order that I want to fulfill, I'm going to click on my order, pull it up. I'll be able to see the different products that are going into it. Um, this yellow notice means that uh, I have enough for this order, but I don't have enough for this order and every other open order uh, that I'm going to have to fulfill uh, later on. Nice. If I want to, I can print out a pick list um, in a PDF format, which is going to tell me uh, what products I'm looking at, as well as where I can find those products. Will you take um, us back to the list of all your sales orders? Yeah, absolutely. I want to point something out I think is important that we shouldn't skip over. Notice the column second from the right, waiting on stock, available, 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 right? Also notice the, the order date. So this is an important tool for a warehouse manager to decide what uh, needs to be picked or what can be picked that day and what pick tickets to print out, Okay. Uh, and so you can actually check the boxes over on the left that you can actually barely see on this screen, but they're there. Uh, you can actually check those boxes uh, based on, you know, the available ones and say, okay, we'll check the boxes for the ones that are available that uh, say they're supposed to be shipped out on this day or first come, first serve, and then print all of those pick tickets all at once. Put them on the table for your pickers to come grab and pick, 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 pick all the orders. So great warehouse management tool. We didn't, I didn't want to skip over. Well, thank you. I appreciate you, you bringing that one up. Thank you, Lance. Yeah. Well, let's uh, mention the, the very last step, fulfilling, printing out the shipping label. We went into this in further detail in, in the deep dive demo. In Inflow, you can print UPS shipping labels, FedEx shipping labels, USPS shipping labels, those are just the three that come to mind. But what did you say? There's a couple of dozen worldwide labels Absolutely, that you yep. can print because you integrate with what was the name of the software? It's called Easy Post. Easy Post. You integrate with e Easy Post, and then you can just print almost whatever shipping label you want, it sounds like, if you're doing parcel, right? Obviously, freight is a little bit different. Freight is, is, um, is not going to be included with this, but uh, as long as you're, you're shipping parcels, um, we can print up your shipping labels directly for you and your shipper will bill you directly. Yeah. And by this, you don't mean freight isn't included in inflow, just in this specific easy post. Integration. That's correct. Okay. I just want to point that out before someone thought, <laughs> what inflow doesn't do freight. Yes, it does freight. Um, but, uh, we're just talking about the parcel integration. So, okay. Uh, reports let's end on reports. Uh, we're just going to keep this a quick high level. Be sure to watch the deep dive demo if you want to see more, but uh, reports are important. Yeah, so we, we've got over three dozen different reports, um, ranging from our sales reports uh, by products, by customer, by operation, our stock level reports, including inventory aging, which I find is a, a really overlooked report a lot of the time, but I think it's really important to give you a sense of how things are moving. Uh, and your purchasing reports as well, uh, by order, by vendor, um, your tax reports. Uh, when you choose a report, uh, you're going to get to choose whether you want a summary or a detail report. And then within that report, uh, you can choose how you want them grouped, which columns you want to have displayed, uh, the statuses that you want to filter by, the dates that you want to look at, a whole bunch of different uh, filters that you can use. And then once you generate that report, uh, you're able to save that report as either a PDF, if you want to print it off and, and look at it, uh, or you can save it as a CSV, uh, which is a lot more useful if you're going to be taking it somewhere uh, and manipulating that data to, to look at certain things. Awesome. So good, robust report writing tool, report creation tool. Thane, this, this has been great. Thank you for showing us Inflow. I think a lot of people will enjoy this and, and benefit really from this. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you, Lance. Yeah, absolutely. 
Thane and I joked earlier how funny it is that so few people subscribe. And I think it's just the nature of our demographic. It doesn't cost anything Got to it. click that su su Come uh, on. subscribe button. Smash that button. Give us a break. <laughs> oh, yeah. if, this, if this video is helpful, click like, you know, questions, comment. We respond to the comments. And so we we'll look forward to hearing from you. If you need more help finding the right inventory management software, reach out to us. If you think, man, inflows for me, then click the link there and sign up for a free demo. We'll help you out.